Okay, we have got a tree on the house. We were sitting in here and heard it. They are coming down left and right back here tonight. We can hear them. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. <sighs> what a mess. The truth is we haven't had power for quite a while. So we can't see anything and it's too dangerous to go out. I'm standing here under the porch. So last night, it actually started yesterday afternoon, we had ice building up. Initially, we just had this flowering tree come down, hit the deck, didn't seem to have done any damage, but I knew it was too dangerous to come outside. Well, it continued to pour yesterday to the point of flood warnings, but all that rain just continued to stick to the trees. And sometime last night, I don't remember exactly what time, it sounded like the world was coming to an end because this big old tree landed on our house and in fact we have heard treetops and trees coming down all night long here i'm really concerned about this tree you can see look how weighted it is and we cannot get out of our driveway we haven't had power since about three o'clock yesterday we're running off of our blue eddies so we've got blue eddies we got the fireplace going I can't really walk around and show you too much out back. There's a bunch down. There's stuff on the side of the house, but I'm scared because literally stuff could snap at any moment. So I'm staying pretty close here just for my own safety. Uh, tree guy is on his way. Hopefully once they figure out how they're gonna get this tree off, we know there's damage on the roof. You won't be able to see it in this, um, but maybe I can pop up a B-roll photo. Uh, the contractor is aware. He said he's had several calls back here in the canyon, so he's going to be back later today to look at the damage. Once they get this out of here, hopefully then maybe I can get to town, but I've heard that there are trees down, power lines down all over the county. A lot of people are without power. Patty's school is canceled uh, today. It's Thursday. I unfortunately need to go to work, but I can't. I just can't get out, so they're going to cover for me. It's when you work with really good coworkers. We, uh, we try to help each other out. If I can get to town later today, what I need to do is I need to get more propane. You can see, you may be able to see, I took the, this morning I went out, grabbed a propane tank off of the Lance so that we have a way to heat up water. I'm using the Blackstone up here and uh, heating water, cook some breakfast. We'll use the fireplace. We have obviously plenty of wood. That's not gonna be an issue um, for heat. And then I've got the Honda running, charging up Big Blue, our Blue Eddy AC200P. Once that's fully charged, I'm gonna get the refrigerator plugged back in. And then that should hold all day again with that. And then we'll charge Little Red. Little Red's currently powering our Wi-Fi network so that we have access to the outside world. Otherwise back here, if we don't have the Wi-Fi and the cell booster, then our cell phones are working. Anyway, we're going to stay inside, try to stay safe. Big concern long term today is it is supposed to get near 50. Hopefully it melts all of this ice off these trees because tonight temperatures are going to plummet. And as that cold front comes through, they're talking about high winds. If this ice is still here with high winds, I can't imagine what the damage is going to be. And honestly, even if the ice comes off, we could still have a lot of damage because we have a lot of compromised trees. These trees were compromised already from the tornado that went through last year. Um, not necessarily the trees in our yard, but throughout the canyon, there were already a lot of trees that were compromised. You know what? It's really hard to tell how much damage there is because there was so much damage still from the uh, tornado. I do see a, I don't know if you can see this little root. I can't, I'm not going out here because it's just too dangerous. Because you can see any of these could come down at any moment. This one here, this one is the one that's scaring me because it's really leaning. And again, I can't really get, I think if it comes, I think it's going to come this way. We do have more roof damage than I had thought. You're not going to be able to see it. Um, we've got metal panels on this porch that are popping up, but there's so much debris you can't see them. We've got up top, all along that ridge line is all mangled. We don't know at this point if that is punctured through or just laying. And now the tree service is here. They're trying to clear trees because 
power lines are down. They can't get the truck up here. And they're waiting for a skid loader because they're going to try to take some of the weight off because if they don't, they go up there and start cutting, this thing's just gonna fall and do even more damage. So this is gonna be a tricky tree to remove. The other concern I have, and they do too at this point, is this tree right here has so much weight on it at the top. I don't know, I'm sure the video is not gonna do it justice, but that thing could potentially land on the trailer or it could go right in the middle or it could shift and come over to the house. I don't know what we're gonna do there. We can't even get the, to try to move the RV at this point is pointless because there's nowhere to go with it because we can't get out the driveway, so. All right, the tree guys have showed up. They've worked their way up the driveway. Now they gotta figure out how they're gonna try to get this tree off the house. All right, here we go. This is where it gets interesting. We are getting techs out of here. Thanks to our friends, Angie and Kevin over at Happy Acres. They uh, unlocked the gate so we can go ahead and take our RV in there. At least until these winds die down and we get some trees taken down that are dangerous. So this is how we're dealing with uh, no power, which means we have no water. So I heat up water for Patty on the Blackstone and we make her some warm water and she's washing her hair because right now she may have to go to school tomorrow okay. or today. I know, oh my gosh. And we got like frozen head because it's cold in here. So we have no furnace, obviously. So you can see we're using studio lighting uh, to give us some light here in the house. I got a fire going. I'm sure I'll get some grief for this. Little buddy heater is safe inside. I'm just using it for a little bit to put a little more heat in here uh, because it cooled down yesterday after the uh, warm up and then uh, the winds came and then we got cold. So Big Blue ran the refrigerator all day yesterday, all night. So I got it out on our Honda generator recharging. We have Little Red over here, EB70 Blue Eddy, that has been powering the Wi-Fi and cell booster. As soon as Big Blue gets uh, some charge, what I'll end up doing is I'll end up then pulling these, plugging them into Big Blue along with the refrigerator to get it back online. And then... Um, I'll get a little red charge backed up. So this is what we've been going through uh, yesterday and the day before is uh, using our Blue Eddies. And then as they go down, alternating, putting charge back on them using the Honda generator. So Patty, would you say this is a disaster or would you say this has been an adventure? Not really a disaster. No one's dying. So I guess an adventure. Yeah. So, I mean, it could be so much worse, right? If, well, it could I be mean, it feels worse. horrible at times. I mean, watching... it could have, the tree could have come through the roof. Right. And we could have had a hole in the roof. Yeah. And it didn't. We have damage, but it could right. have been It a can lot be worse. fixed. Yeah. It looks terrible outside, but it's it a can... mess outside. It's going to take time we'll to clean it. We'll get it cleaned up. Cleaned up. But honestly, you know, a lot of people are going to say, why did you not just take your RV to a campground or why didn't you go to a well, hotel? But. Well, one, I would have been more worried, especially yesterday afternoon with all the wind, because I'd want to know if the trees right. would come down, and that would have been bugging me. Um, plus, all my stuff's here, and right. and it just costs a lot of money. And we needed to be here yeah. because we had the uh, we emergency had tree crew service, our contractor. Today, we've got the our insurance, insurance agent coming. coming, and so, yeah. so yeah, I mean, so yeah, that's why we stayed here. And honestly, it hasn't been bad. It's not bad at all. We've... We're kind of honing in on our boondocking skills. I'll tell you what, boondocking in an RV is so easy it's compared to trying to quote yeah. boondock in a house because at least in your RV when you're boondocking, you have fresh water on board, you can run your furnace, you can have hot water. Right. You're That's currently true. on a two hour delay. We're kind of waiting to see right. if they're the gonna... neighbor school district went last night to a automatic close closing and the South school district went on a two hour delay. 
so we'll see what happens. Dan's back out here trying to pull some of this stuff off of our deck. Fortunately, it doesn't look too bad. I don't really see, I don't see much damage to the new railing we put on last year. So that's a good sign. Good morning. So this is Saturday morning and we got snow last night. And what I'm trying to do is trying to collect some of cleaner snow. But what I'm doing over here is we need some water for flushing toilets. So we are melting the snow to make non potable, 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 whatever it is, water to use in the toilets. Like I said, there is some debris in here. So I will run this through like a strainer once we get the water and then we'll use that because we're starting to get low on fresh water. And it's not that I can't go buy, we can get into town. It's just why, why spend the money? on good fresh water and jugs when we can make for the toilet. So we still have no power. Power went out again on Wednesday at three. Um, yesterday, they did get us cleaned up here in the front yard, which was nice. Chandra Snyder, our State Farm agent, best State Farm agent, she makes Jake look like a schmuck, okay? Chandra drove all the way up here from Fort Wayne, like an hour drive. She didn't have to, but she did. She wanted to see the damage herself. She wanted to go ahead and write me a check. Um, so that I can go ahead and get Dan, the tree guy, paid. She just took our deductible right out of that. So once I pay Dan, we're done. And then uh, what worked out great was because she came to our home, Dan was here, she got to talk to him about the tree removal and how difficult it was um, and how he actually saved our roof by taking his time and doing it the right way, which is a little more expensive, but really it's not because if he didn't do it that way, we could have had bigger repair bill. She also got to meet Chris, our contractor, who um, works on our house. And so he talked to her, they're all squared away. And so it was just so nice because I had been on the phone with a claims agent who really didn't understand what was going on, um, was asking stupid questions in my opinion. Um, but at any rate, they have a script they have to follow, I get that. But a great agent, I don't care whether it's State Farm, Farm Bureau, Progressive, whoever, is an agent that actually comes out, checks on you, makes sure you're okay, and Chandra is awesome. So uh, last night we were fine. Um, we were pretty warm. We woke up this morning to a very cold house because we did get snow overnight. It got super cold. And so the first thing I did was build a fire, fired up the generator again. Blue Eddie's held overnight with uh, running the uh, refrigerator. This morning, I'm slowly starting to figure out the best way to do this and finally figured out that, you know what, we can actually run the refrigerator directly off of the Honda. I had enough extension cord, was able to get it into the house. And so now we can get Big Blue charged back up and we'll use Big Blue for, you know, um, like important stuff like the big screen TV for tonight's basketball game. Hopefully we're seeing some electric crews finally, we think out here. We know there's a ton of lines down, so it still could be a while, but if now they're finally here, that's a good sign. And so I think the plan today is to go to town, get some more water, and then write it out again. And then if power's not on by tomorrow morning, we're gonna have to go to a laundromat. walk down here and see if I can see if anybody's working on the utility lines. That was right across from our house. It actually extended out into the road. That was going all the way across, pulled the power line down there. There is a broken line. All kinds of it spooled up here. There it is right there. See that? Um, yeah, this is why we don't have power. It's gonna take them some time. You can see right up there, maybe. So I'm curious, how many of you would have already went to your RV to a campground? We probably should have, but the local KOA, I think when I looked it up, it was around $70 a night. It's the middle of winter. So I was like, I know the insurance said they could pick it up for us, but. Here's what's amazing. The internet that we have is on these wired poles because it's through the electric company. The power lines came down, but the internet did not, which don't get me wrong, I am very thankful for that because we still have internet, which keeps us connected. This was full of trees up until 
last June when the tornado came through and it wiped out so many trees back here, left big holes. But then we have this ice storm come through and take down even more. The truth is these trees, a lot of them need to go because they have been compromised. They're old, they're overgrown. And as much as nobody wants to lose the trees, the truth is they're continuing to be a liability for this neighborhood. And there is the tree that was on our house. They've got it all cut up here, ready to be hauled away. You can see those are some pretty big logs. All right, we came to town, needed more water because nobody's working on our electricity. I can see this thing going on a couple more days, so kind of disappointing. Good morning. It's uh, Sunday morning. This is day four without power. And I won't lie, it's starting to wear thin. So, um, and a lot of being exhausted from it is you basically just spend all day trying to manage resources. Finally got smart, I guess, found enough extension cord to run an extension cord from the Honda gas generator out back that I've been using to recharge the Blue Eddies and also to keep the freezer cold in the garage because we don't want to lose all of our meat. And, um, but yesterday I decided, you know what, if I run a cord in, I can plug the refrigerator directly into the Honda. So that's what we did. I was able to save Big Blue, um, got it fully charged. And then that way, I know that some of you are gonna say this is dumb, but I wanted to watch basketball last night on our TV. So we used Big Blue um, to be able to do that. And then there was still enough power that I could shut the Honda off overnight so I didn't have to worry about fueling and then Big Blue ran our refrigerator. But it's just that kind of like mental trying to figure out like, ooh, how do I get by? Um, as far as uh, cooking, we're really not doing much in the way of cooking other than I've been cooking breakfast on the Blackstone, just some basic eggs, bagel, sausage, you know, that kind of thing. And then that's how I boil water. I also have the Weber grill that I could use, but um, we've basically just been eating breakfast and then we go and get a nice meal and bring it home. Um, the reason we don't go out and sit is I don't want to leave the pups with a open fire going and we're using the fireplace obviously to heat. Um, I also this morning have been running a uh, electric heater that we have to try to put some heat in and I'm all excited. There goes, you probably won't see it. I don't know where it's at, ah, geez. but it's an electric truck. We see electric trucks back here driving around and that's the first time we've seen that. So we're hopeful that maybe maybe by tonight we might have power. I'm, I'm trying not to, because we thought that yesterday too. And so we're trying not to get our hopes up. I think Patty's gonna run to town to a laundromat, because honestly, we haven't been able to do laundry since like Tuesday, and we both have to go back to work tomorrow. And that creates a lot more anxiety, because now I have to worry about Truman and Bess, because obviously I can't have the fireplace going. I do not want an electric heater running. Will the house stay warm enough for them until I can get home from work? I have to be honest, this is not bad. I mean, compared to, can you imagine if it was a hurricane that went through where you know that's not gonna be days, that's gonna be weeks, if not months. I have a new appreciation for anyone who's went through a natural disaster. Um, and I feel bad for some of our neighbors because this is the second time in less than 12 months that they're going through something like this. We were gone last year when the big tornado came through and fortunately no trees hit our house so we, we didn't have to deal with that. But some of these neighbors now have a second disaster on their hands and you know, we have older people back here and you know, they don't have any power. Like Patty said this morning, how do you run a CPAP machine? I don't know. Now some of the houses like our neighbors have a generator and definitely after this, even though we're not gonna get a generator um, because of the cost of that, but I am going to look at alternatives so we can have a little bit better situation. Hopefully later tonight, maybe I'll have some good news. Um, but I suppose I better go back in, help Patty get the laundry rounded up. I think I'm gonna stay here, keep the fire going. And nice thing is we got blue skies. Great news, the power is back on. Um, what time is it, one o'clock? So we're at two hours short of a full four days without power. Thank you to RMC, all the crews are not even just from our RMC. they brought them in from other counties and they finally got here, got it repaired. We have power. So now the next part of this journey is going to be getting repairs done to the roof and 
having some more trees taken down so we don't have this issue again.